How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a fitness question. Your hip joint is an amazingly complex structure which requires the cooperation of many different muscles, tendons, and ligaments for it to function optimally. When those structures don't function in unison, you may feel a sharp pain in the crease of your hip as you descend into a squat. In this video, I'm going to explain why you might be feeling this pain and how to fix it from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. The foundation of your hip joint consists of two major bones that articulate with one another. These bones are surrounded by a dense layer of tissue called a capsule, which basically acts like an envelope, keeping your joint secure. After that, you've got three other ligaments supporting the joint and a whole slew of different muscles that anchor to the hip and femur, which allow for movement in many different directions. Now, it's important to keep in mind that there could be many causes for hip pain during a squat. But in my experience, poor form and mobility restrictions in the joint capsule and surrounding muscles are the culprit nine times out of 10. Your hip flexors are typically pinned as the bad guy right off the bat, since they appear to be where the pain is coming from and are sensitive to touch. But what most tend to not realize is that there could be so many other muscles pulling the head of the femur out of optimal position, which would cause added stress to the joint capsule and its supporting ligaments. Simply put, there is a good chance that pain is coming from the joint capsule and ligaments as opposed to just your muscles. So how do you fix this? Let's take a closer look. Before we take a closer look, I want to mention that I offer private online personal training. Take your fitness to the next level with expert coaching, customized programming, and accountability you won't find anywhere else. Visit ajsteven.com to book an appointment or learn more about how I can help you become stronger, more mobile, and confident in the gym or in the comfort of your own home. First, you have to spend a minimum of five minutes or so warming up doing some form of cardio. Blood flow to the hip is critical to ensure tissue can be mobilized properly. Next, do a set of seven to 10 body weight squats and try to get a sense of what the pain is like when you're finished. Follow these squats up with the following mobility drills. First is the banded sidestep. Tie a band around your knees and perform 12 steps per side for two rounds. Once you're done, retest the squats. If you felt an improvement, chances are your hip abductors are either stiff or weak and need some supplemental work. Second is the wall internal rotation stretch. Lie on your back and place your feet flat against a wall. Bring one foot to the opposite knee and then pull this knee towards the middle of your body while keeping your foot planted on the wall. Hold for about a minute or so and then retest your squats. If things feel better, you're likely dealing with poor mobility caused by stiff hip stabilizers and external rotators. Third is the wall split stretch. Find a wall, place your butt right up against it and put your legs in an upward split position. Hold this for about a minute and retest your squats. If things are feeling better, you're likely dealing with a combination of stiff hip flexors, adductors, and internal rotators. If you're able to perform these exercises regularly, you should start to see noticeable reductions in your hip pain within weeks. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Thank you all so much for watching and stay strong.